Hello Algebra 2, today we're going to discuss chapter 2.3, quick graphs of linear equations. So there's going to be several different quick graphs that we talk about. Uh, before we get started, just to remind ourselves of the definition of intercepts, remember the x-intercept is a point, it's the point where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is a point, it's a point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Uh, most lines have both an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So here if I draw this line right here. Then we have our y-intercept there and our x-intercept there. There we go. Okay, now not every line has both intercepts. So if you're horizontal or vertical, you're only going to have one intercept. Okay, so our first quick graph is with slope-intercept form, which we talked about already. So slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m stands for the slope, b stands for the y-intercept, and to graph it, you're going to first plot b, so you're going to plot your y-intercept, and then you are going to count the slope, so go rise over run, right, because that's what our slope is, to find two more points. Uh, so this, if something is already in slope-intercept form, this is a very quick method of graphing. So let's take a look. Now pay attention, this can happen quickly if your graph is or if your line is already in slope intercept form. First of all, I'm going to write it a little bigger cuz I am going to zoom in here to make my graph bigger. I'm not going to lose my equation there. It's okay. Graph bigger equation. I remember it 1 half x plus 1 which is in slope intercept form. So we're going to start by plotting the y intercept so there is my y-intercept at 1. And then remember your slope is a rise over a run. So we're going to rise 1, run 2. Let's put this there. And we can keep doing that. We can do it all day long. Now I want you to do it till you have at least three points, three total points, which includes the y-intercept. If you would like to do it longer than that, though, feel free. Look at all those points. See, quick. All right, with your straight edge, you're going to draw a line going across those. You're going to put arrows on the ends, and it's done. See? Quick. So if it's not in slope-intercept form, uh, what else makes a graph a quick graph? So the next form we're going to talk about is standard form. And standard form looks like ax plus by equals c. Uh, both a and b can't be 0 because otherwise you wouldn't have any variables left. And typically, a, b, and c are all integers, so no fractions, and a is positive to be in a, a typical standard form. These are quickest to graph from their intercepts. So if you want to quickly graph an equation from standard form, you're going to graph it using its intercepts. And the main knowledge that you're going to use there is the fact that at an x-intercept, y is 0, and at a y-intercept, x is 0. And if that didn't make sense, let's look at this line here real quick, this line right here. X-intercept, that is the point sum x, 0, because you haven't gone up or down at all. And the y-intercept is the point 0, because you haven't gone left or right at all, some point y. Okay, so that's the other one is 0. Has to be for it to be on the opposite axis. So the equation 3x minus 2y equals 6 is an equation in standard form. And so we want to graph it using our intercepts. First of all, we're going to find the x-intercept. You've got to find one at a time. can't find them both at once. And so to find the x-intercept, we're going to make y be 0. So you see all the steps. I'm going to rewrite my equation, but instead of y, I'm going to put in a 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. That gives me 3x equals 6. Solving this, 4x, x is 2. That is my x-intercept. So on my graph, I put a point on the x-axis at 2. Y-intercept. What do I know about the y-intercept? Well, I know x is 0. So I'm going to make x be 0. 3 times 0 is 0, so I get negative 2y equals 6. Divide by a negative 2, y equals negative 3. So once you have your two intercepts, then you are welcome to use your straight edge, draw a line. Voila, you're done. See, quick. We're going quick. Now, it does say to rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form. You can do it one of two ways. 
You can take your original standard form and rearrange it, which would be A-OK. -okay. Or you might notice, hey, I now have my y-intercept. So if I want slope-intercept form, I need a y-intercept, which was negative 3, right? And I need a slope. And if I just count my rise and my run, it looks like I go up 3 and over 2. 3 halves x minus 3. Either way you get there, that works. The last kind of quick graphs we're going to talk about today is just drawing horizontal and vertical lines. And with these, you don't need to plot any points. You just got to draw the line. So you know it's going to be a horizontal line if it is just a y equals a number, like y equals 3, y equals negative 2. It's a horizontal line. These lines have slopes that are zero slope because they're horizontal. Okay. I think of this as the line where all the y's are this value. Like that's how I remember, every y is this value. Vertical lines, kind of the complete opposite here. General equation is x equals, okay, so it's x equals a number, there's no variable on this side. Since they're vertical, they have an undefined slope. And I think about this as the line where all the x's are the same, so every single x is this number. So let's look at two examples y equals negative 2. That is the line where every single y is negative 2. So I'm going to start on my y-axis and I'm going to come down to negative 2. So I'm right here on my y-axis and if I go left and right forever on that line every single y is negative 2. You can look at those ordered pairs and go hey you know that's 4 negative 2 and 6 negative 2 and negative 5 negative 2. All those y's are negative 2. The other graph, x equals 3, every single x is 3. So I'm going to start on my x-axis and go to 3. And then where's the line where every single x is 3? Oh, I just go up and down forever. All of those ordered pairs there have an x that's 3. All right, so there are three quick versions. You can graph from slope-intercept form, you can graph from standard form using your intercepts, you can graph horizontal and vertical lines pretty darn quickly. That's all for today. Let me know if you have questions and I will see you in class next time.